Hello, Forecaster here again, and we are back for episode 27 of The Outer Worlds. So, uh, we're going to have a look at this terminal here and pay per view movies. Note pay per view is restricted to diamond level guests, but feel free to peruse our catalog. Entertainment cartridges are available for rent at the main desk. There are currently zero cartridges in stock. My big canid friend. Synopsis, a lab grown giant canid goes on an adorable rampage, leading a family, family of scientists on a wild chase across Emerald Vale. Spending the holiday away from home proves to be a chore, but the family soon realizes that true friends are the monsters you meet along the way. Rated FSR 11 for fun times, simulated rampage, and body count 11. Wow, okay. Uh, Nannerspank 7, Primal Affections. Raised by wilderness primals, one man will leave the jungle he knows to explore the one he doesn't. Keystone. He came for Nannerspank, but he stayed for love. Can a young corporate executive caller this creature or will she awaken the beast within rated p-a-c-n-s for passion anthropoid and consensual nanner spanking okay cereals baking with edna space hospital and broderick's brood right let's hack this to gain access to guest messages hopefully the guy in here won't mind uh, from Veritas subject, be careful. One of UB's, squ UB's squealers came asking for you. Want to know what you like to drink, who you talk to, what your temperament's like. Try to pay me off. I took the bits and told her a pack of lies. Watch your back when you get in. Don't want to find you in the waste disposal shoot. Uh, from Veritas. Space for the ISCC. I see. Been a while since I heard from you. You're on that long haul out to Dashkova right now. Hope it goes well. I got a space for you and yours to meet when you get back. It's just a storage room, but it's quiet and safer than the bar. Should be able to accommodate most of your folks. No face or nothing, just buy me... Just let me buy you a beer. From Rizu PR, please stop. Mr. McRed, we have reviewed your proposal for the 10th time and still do not agree that galactic mushroom is an acceptable flavor for a Rizu beverage. Even if we're, we were to pursue the idea, the samples you sent us were dangerously hallucinogenic. The unopened package alone caused mayhem in our receiving bay. Please don't reach out to us again. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm not doing anything. Right, so let's... First have a look in here. Okay, nothing... No terminal or anything. Bunch of mag picks here for some reason. Which we can take for free. Another model spaceship. Which is just a little bit of money. I need to make ba back all that money I spent on that dang nav key now. Probably would have been enough to just get one of those things back to Gladys to get that key but oh well uh finally have a nav key to stellar bay on monarch inform dr wells so you can learn why you need to travel to the restricted planet oh okay so i can we'll just go to the ship and talk to wells there that's fine i suppose we could also meet 
Let me fix it up, Papa Bar. Let's you don't much like me, huh, Dr. Ellie? It's time for a KY. It's nothing personal. I'm just not the touchy-feely type. It's just... You seem fine with the others. Did I do something to make you unhappy with me? You gotta stop taking things so personal. You're setting yourself up for a letdown. Right. So we need to turn in that bounty, which we can do here. Come to take the bounty posting? Well... Let yeah. Toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. Well, I already killed him. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it. Ooh, we're almost at level 13. Don't mind me. Records. Arrivals. Cleo Freighter hauling Tovacorn. Riso Freighter hauling Purpleberry everything. Freelancer. Possibly sublight. Dues paid. Freelancer. Definitely sublight. Dues waived. Unreliable. That's me. Business unknown. Unknown. Impounded. Hawthorne ships. Hawthorne ship, but no Hawthorne. Wonder what happened there. Okay. Departures. Freelancer sublight. Freelancer none. Deadbeat at the rest and go insisted once again that he's part of the crew. But they acted like they didn't know him. Spacer's Choice Freighter. Delivered Callahan's new mask. Callahan. From GB Security, subject these conditions. This is a joke, right? I'm forwarding this around the station and no one thinks you're real. And if you are, welcome to the Groundbreaker. Oh, the satisfied user 70. These conditions aren't fist fit for cyst pigs. You honestly expect me to share a berth with some junker flown by a freelancer? I'm a company man. And I demand company accommodations. Annie Cleo would give you such a withering glare if she saw how you treated her two-time employee of the month. Yes, that's me. You signed a social contract when you gave me clearance to land. I ask for what is mine by right. Room to breathe, a heated berth so I can walk around barefoot, and service with a smile. You've given me one out of three. I'll give you until I hit send to rectify this error. Right. Harassment. Uh, from Wildcat. Hey, I landed like 15 minutes ago and this crazy guy with no shoes on has been throwing shit at my rig. Like actual shit. Can I open fire or what? Okay. Huh. Well, let's get back to the ship. My cargo's worth a lot of money. I bet it is. I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. I have acquired PD. Don't know where PD has gone. Also, it seems Ada always says something when you enter the ship. You watching the Aetherwaves last night? I don't want to ruin the surprise. Let's just say it involved a whole mess of tossball players and the biggest manta queen I ever saw. Do you think maybe I could borrow that sometime? 
Hello, Felix. Good to see you, boss. Uh, yeah, so how, how'd you end up on the Groundbreaker, I guess? Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back base. And then you were raised by a pack of sprats, right? That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back base. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. Everyone has to make their own way. Stowaways ain't free. We were just as trapped as anybody else. We didn't belong in the system, but we still had to live in it. We still had to play by the board's rules. Imagine spending your whole life looking out at the stars and knowing you could never aspire to be anything more than a box hauler. That's what it's like. Okay. Where do you find work? Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. Foreman and I never got on. Right, yeah, the incident we walked in on. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint? But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick? That felt good. That felt real good. You want to try it. One-handed melee 30. Right. Well, I expect you to be civilized if I call for it, so, you know. Oh, I can do civilized. Proper civilized, too. Genuflecting and everything. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. Right. Well, don't cause any trouble here. That's just crazy talk. You know we'd never have a problem. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. Right. What a mess. Ah, uh, okay. Issuing sanitation ticket. Error. Refill printer paper. Okay. I wonder if we'll get a companion quest for him or for Sam there, or if that was the uh, getting the acid thingy. That was basically that. I wouldn't be too surprised if that was it. Messages for Lily. Me. From Jay Tennyson. Uh... From Junlei. Ah. Here's the poem that she wrote. I'm not going to read it out loud. Uh, we were talking about old friends, you know, and I got to thinking about Isabel. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what she was thinking. We were a mess, a good mess, but a mess. I'm a better me than I was then, want you to know. Even when I drink too much of the old family recipe. You're pretty swell, party tea. Damn you, Insta spell check. Meet my wrench. Too tired. Just gonna put my head down for a blurg. Well, it seems like that's going well. Uh, we're going to put away the ultimatum and the vortex maze and the Montag. 
then we can take that was a flamethrower right it's a plasma flamethrower apparently we'll keep the regular one because why not and the welder goggles apparently a type of uh opti goggles we'll keep those i probably won't wear them we'll put those away as well and that's that. Now let's have a sleep. And we should have some food and drink. That's not what I meant to do. Still need some more. There we go. Now let's talk to Ada and have her contact. Uh, what's her name for us? Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Uh, yeah, right. No, that's not him. Uh, that's not the lady. That's the... Dr. Wells is the guy who saved us, right? Yeah. Um, so we need to go back onto the Groundbreaker and talk to that other, uh, what was it, what was the company called? Navlite or something? The Smuggler, the Smugglers. I don't think we actually know what that mission is about, but whatever, let's talk to Dr. Wells first. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Okay. You sound like you've been on Monarch. Hmm. Probably. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram's... Cuisine, perhaps? Where should I start then? You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Okay, that sounds fine. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Pretty sure that everyone on the Hope has no idea what I'm doing, but I'm sure he meant figuratively. Okay, so let's put some more... Well, let's put basically all of the points into stealth. Uh, find more bits in containers. That's nice. We'll go with that. Uh, Felix, you have a grenade launcher and a toss ball stick. You have a couple of perks. Increase your health. And armor rating and tier three ranged oh you only have two per points okay so i guess the way it works for companions oh yeah sam as well is that you when you get a perk in one tier, you unlock the next. So it's not related to my perks at all. 
Uh, let's go with help for you. Ah. Well, that's good, I suppose. Go with that. Right, so we're going to go back to the groundbreaker now. And we'll take Sam and Felix. Actually, I'm going to take Sam and Parvati. So I want to see if they what kind of interactions they have. Either of the assault cruisers ever put into Groundbreaker? You kidding? The chief wouldn't let a couple hundred board troops in here. I just figured there's so many people on them. They gotta get out and stretch their legs sometime. Well, they can do that on the board zone dirt and breathe up the board zone air. Hmm. Right, now where was that? Rizzo's purple berry fudge. It was more towards the back, I think. It's not the medical bay. It was right sublight. Here it is. Lila. You weren't followed, were you? I hope not. Well, I got the nav key. Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. Uh, is that the same Catherine that I know? Uh, okay, well, I'll, I'll take it. Won't ask any questions. We'll find out what it is. Now, get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood? Sure. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. I ain't worried if you aren't, Captain. Uh, honest. Well, that doesn't sound encouraging, but. Right, I've seen that already. I haven't been out here on this balcony, though. Pretty fancy. It's got a bit of a shirt there and a bit of a leak there. Uh, the Groundbreaker is not a problem free ship. I don't know if I want to get in there. Probably they would have objections to that. Ah, uh, we might. But we've been doing that for a while. Right, so now we're going to head back to the Unreliable and uh, we're gonna check out the NAB computer, I guess. Can't go anywhere else, can we? What's over here? Okay, that's kind of an invisible wall type deal. Nobody here who's 
Jane Elson. You're the one who talked to Felix, weren't you, about that incident? Hey there! Got word on the wireless. Your flag's cleared, you're free to go. Hope you enjoyed your time on Groundbreaker, the last free port of call in all the colony. Oh no, you're the, um... You're the one who greeted us when we came out of the ship, weren't we? Well, whatever. Ah. Hmm. Well, I don't really want to steal stuff out in the open that's asking for trouble. So, yeah, uh, like I said, we're going to have a quick look at the nav panel, see where we're going next. And then we're going to end the episode. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? Please do not leave items lying about the cargo hold. Can I actually do that? Bigger and his servants. You ever think about the plan, Sam? Of course you don't, you... Hey, where'd you get this page of scripture from? Come to see Sam? That was sweet of you. Here, I was just leaving. Okay. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Some of the drinks we tried I even liked. I guess it's not all disgusting. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. Well, did you talk to... Junlei? I messaged Junlei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Okay. Not bad so far. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Okay. Yeah, so she does like you, probably. Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. You're welcome, I guess. Does Sam have anything to say? Every Sam unit comes lean me. Yeah, yeah. No. Can't ask him to come to the bridge, apparently. Unless Pravati has something else to say. I could probably spend years fixing this boat, stem to stern. Okay. So we can't actually do what Ada asked. There's just a random line. Do you have anything new? How can I be of assistance? No. Apparently not. Okay, so, uh, Monarch is over here. It's a moon of Olympus. There's a tiny thing there. Actually, that's a it looks like a projection point, but it's not projecting anything. Okay, those are grayed out. I don't know why. Hmm. 
Hmm. There's a bunch of them. Tartarus is locked. That was the... Yeah, the labyrinth. That was the... Prison, basically. Scylla is an asteroid. Could also go to Phineas Lab. We haven't been there yet. So we're going to pay... Top secret orbital lab. Yeah. So we're going to pay him a visit uh, at the start of the next episode. And then we can head to Monarch. Uh, unless it takes... We get stuff to do for the entire episode. So, with that, I will see you in the next video.